Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell icon and set your notifications to all of that way you never miss a future upload. Today we're going to be talking about Keemstar being Keemstar yet again. Now if you haven't seen my previous video titled Mikey Glam and Gore Tries to Save Her Career, I will link that in a card up over here as well as down in the description box down below. So definitely make sure you go and check that out as well. All right, let's go ahead and get on into it. So the other day, Keemstar took to Twitter to put a video out talking about the whole Swoop Mikey situation and his thoughts on it and why he says that he cannot report on it. Now, in this video clip, he says a lot of things that I do not agree with. Surprise, surprise, I usually don't agree with a lot of stuff that Keemstar says, but even this one was just way over the top, super insensitive, and really typical Keemstar, if we're going to be honest, because Keemstar is just a giant troll. That's what he is. I even talked about this with several people after I sent them the link, and I was like, can you guys believe that he's actually saying what he's saying? And they're like, wow, that is just not appropriate at all. But let's go ahead and take a look at Keemstar's video that he put out on Twitter. So this creator uploaded a video acting like... Um you know, she was the voice of the entire black community in a drama video where she exposed her white friend. Probably some of you know the reference. Now, if you haven't seen Swoop's video where she talks about her situation with Glam and Gore or Mikey, definitely go and check that out so you get the full context of it. But I didn't see anywhere in this video where she says that she was talking about the whole black community or alluding that she was talking about the whole black community. In her video, she was sharing her personal experience that she had with Mikey. There was nothing else in there except for her experiences that she had with her. So exactly how, Keemstar, was she speaking for the entire black community? Please tell me because I have no idea where you're seeing this. Uh, I had so many issues with this video. One, she repeated herself six, there were six main points that she repeated over and over and over again. Now, did Swoop repeat herself over and over again in this video? Yes, absolutely. But why do I feel that she did that? Because she wanted to make sure that people heard what she was saying. A lot of the times, people will not listen to what somebody is saying, and so she wanted to make sure that she got her point across by repeating herself. Because you hear something once, you might not really hear it, it gets brought up again, and you're like, oh wait, I think I heard her say that earlier. Let me listen and see what she's actually saying this time. So I feel like the reason that she was repeating herself over and over again is because she really wanted to make sure that people understood what she was saying. She made claims that she was living in the biggest civil rights movement in the history of the world multiple times. Again, because this entire hour long video is her just repeating herself and repeating points that she already made. And no, have you, do you get a history book? Have you ever heard of the 1960s? Like you are wrong. With what's going on in the world today, this is a huge civil rights movement, 100%. Now here's the thing though, is that you can't necessarily say what was bigger. Was the civil rights movement in the 1960s bigger than what's going on today? There's no actual technical way to measure that. Now let's be honest, what's happening in the world today is huge, 100%. And in our lifetime that we're living right now, then yes, this is the biggest civil rights movement that we have been through. Now, again, you can't say what was bigger. Was the one in the 1960s bigger? Was this one bigger? Let's be honest, they're both huge. And I've actually seen articles saying that they are equatable and they're equal. And some articles are saying that one was bigger than the other, but there's no positive way of saying which one was actually bigger. And I don't really think that it matters technically which one is bigger because they're both huge movements and that's the main thing. In our lifetime right now, this is the biggest civil rights movement in the world. That's just how it is. Now, in the 1960s, that was the biggest civil rights movement in the world. Now, in history, you can't compare the two, but let's be honest, they are both big deals. Um, another issue I have is she is super light-skinned. And I'm sorry, if I want to hear the black experience from someone, I want to see... I want to hear from someone that is darker skin. Like, I have a darker complexion than this woman. And then we have Kim here literally invalidating Swoop's blackness, saying she's super light-skinned, so her experience doesn't equate to somebody who is darker skinned. Just because somebody is lighter skinned doesn't mean that they did not have struggles that they have gone through. And then for you to stand there and say that you have a darker complexion than she does, like, come on, Kim. Like, what is wrong with you? Um... And I know that your experience is not the same as someone that has darker skin. So I just, I found the whole video ridiculous. She exposed her friend. Her friend is a person, but I think she's also a person for leaking all of her friend's conversations. Now, do I agree with leaking somebody's private conversations on the internet for everybody to see? No. 
But here we are and it has happened. And I feel like the reason that Swoop did this was because she felt that no matter what she did, nobody was listening to her. So the only thing that she had left to do was to take this public and let people know, hey, these are the situations that I've had with Mikey. These are the reasons that we are no longer friends. I just want to let you guys know who the person is that you are supporting. Now again, should this have been handled privately? But we can see from the messages that we have seen Swoop try to reach out to her privately and she didn't get any responses. So again, she was like, you know what? This is my last resort. I'm just going to take this public. I'm going to let everybody know, hey, these are the situations that I had with Mikey, just so you guys know. And we saw the same situation happen with Dustin Daly and Rich Lux when Dustin Daly came out and called out Rich Lux online. He said, hey, I've tried to talk to Rich multiple times privately and it's not working. The only way that I know how to get through to him is to blast it on his timeline. So that's what Dustin ended up doing. So this is something that we've seen people do after they said, hey, I've tried to talk to this person privately and that's clearly not working. I don't even know. I made this video like six times and then deleted it because like you can't even talk about any of these issues because of the current climate that we're in today. And I don't think I'm going to cover the story on Drama Alert because I want to talk about this race thing, which I find is ridiculous. But I know that that is going to cause people to be like, oh, he's being racist because that's what people do. And now exactly what is ridiculous about this race thing that you bring up, Keem? Is it that people of color are constantly mistreated? Is it that people of color are constantly incarcerated at a higher rate than white people? Is it that people of color are constantly getting by the police, you are the one who is sounding ridiculous and completely ignorant in this entire situation. It's just ridiculous that we really don't have freedom of speech because cancel culture is the way it is. I just... <gasps> Kim, we have a freedom of speech, 100% but you don't have freedom from consequence. So why don't you just come out and say what you wanna say? Is it because you know that if you come out and say what you actually wanna say that people aren't going to agree with you and they're gonna cancel you because of what you say? Because that's, I feel like, what's going to happen. Clearly, you don't understand this entire situation that's happened in the world because I've seen you do more tweets in support of Trump than I've seen you tweet out anything about George Floyd or Breonna Taylor or anything else that has happened in the world. So where is your support for what's going on in the world, hmm? And then on top of that, in typical Keem fashion, he took to Twitter to tweet out the following. Someone replied to Keemstar's video and said, a white man validating a black person's struggle because she's too light? Gotta delete this. And then Keemstar quote tweeted that and said, excuse me, what exactly do I need to delete? And then shared a screenshot of his ancestry, which shows 40% Italy slash Greece, 19% Ireland, and 9% African. And then he followed that up with a tweet saying, I hate you, Twitter. New drama alert in one hour. And then shared a photo of him wearing an African print hat. In the end, let's just be 100% honest, Keemstar is just a giant troll and his true colors are starting to shine through it yet again. I know we had that incident with him from 10 years ago and he always says, that was 10 years ago, that doesn't matter, that was so long ago. But 10 years ago, you were 28. You were a full grown adult. You knew what you were doing and you knew what you were saying. It's not like you were 14 and you're just trying to be cool and edgy and fit in with all the kids. You were a full grown adult when you said what you said and you know it. If you're so concerned about the freedom of speech, then why don't you use your platform and say what you have to say? Why are you not speaking out what you want to say? Is it because you know that you're going to get canceled because of what you're going to say? I think so, but that's just my opinion. But that's everything that I have for today's video, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you like this video, please make sure you hit that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell icon and set your notifications to all. That way you never miss a future upload. Alright, that's everything for today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!